Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today we're going to be comparing the differences between jQuery and vanilla JavaScript when it comes to working with HTML classes. Okay, so right inside here as we can see we've got this fairly straightforward HTML file with a single div and an ID of my div right inside here. So now let's add and remove and do things with the class of this div right here using jQuery and vanilla JavaScript. Okay, so going inside this file right here, as we can see, we've got the jQuery example. So in the first line or the first batch of statements, uh, we are simply adding classes. So on the first line, we're adding the single class of water using the jQuery add class method. Okay, on the second line, we're passing through both computer and bottle to be added. So of course, multiple classes right here, separated by a space. Okay, and then on the last line, we're once again adding multiple classes, both microphone and decode. This time, we're passing through an array uh, as opposed to having the space between each one of those class names right there. And of course, that is adding your classes. When it comes to removing your classes, this is done using the very similar remove class method. As we can see, it's going to take in the exact same format. Okay, we've got the single class, we've got the classes uh, separated by a space, then of course we have the array right there. Okay, moving on to checking for the existence of a class. This is done using the has class method and it's going to give you true or false if the class exists or not. Of course, in this case right here, if water exists, you're going to get true. If not, you're going to get false. Fairly straightforward. And the last example is using the toggle class method. And this one is simply going to toggle the existence of your class. In this case right here, if computer exists, it's going to remove it. If it doesn't exist, then it's going to add that class. Okay, and the very last line right down here is also using, of course, the toggle class method. This one takes in, once again, computer, but a second argument right here is basically an expression for true or false. If this right here gives you true, then the class of computer is going to be added. In this case right here, if 10 is more than 5, this gives us true, so of course computer is going to be added. If this right here is false, then computer is going to be removed. And that right there is the toggle class and of course the whole jQuery example. Now, moving on to vanilla JavaScript, let's go inside here. As we can see, we've got basically the same examples. Okay, on the first line, I'm simply getting a reference to the div. I don't want to be writing out get element by ID multiple times in this file. So, Having a look at the addition of classes, as we can see, we are using the class list property. And basically, this class list right here is simply just an object attached to every element, which you can then call methods on to manipulate your classes. For example, you can say class list dot add to, of course, add the class of water. If you want to pass through multiple and add multiple classes, you simply pass through um, essentially uh, your number of classes. For example, computer, then comma, then bottle, just as extra arguments to the add method. And the same thing works for remove. Once again, removing the single class of water and then removing the, um, the multiple classes of both computer and bottle. Okay, so when it comes to uh, checking for the existence of a class, it works in a very similar way to the jQuery has class example. You simply pass through here or you say class list dot contains water, for example, it's going to give you true or false. And lastly, when it comes to toggling, once again, it works in the exact same way. You pass through here class list dot toggle for computer on or off. Then, of course, on the last line, we're passing through the expression once again. If 10 is more than five, then of course, computer is going to be added. If 10 is not more than five or, you know, for example, if two more than five, it's going to give us false. And in this case right here, computer is going to be removed. OK, so that is a difference right there. I just want to compare right here. So I'll, I'll drag the vanilla JS version on the right side here. And we can see that the APIs are, uh, they are, they are quite similar in the way that they're actually laid out and the things that they do. But of course, the class list right here on the right side, 
the vanilla JS version actually has a few more features. So if you head onto the MDN, so uh, the reference for the uh, for the actual class list, of course, um, if you go to the elements.class list uh, property right here, as we can see, like I said, you've got this class list object, which allows you to do many different things to um, your classes. Okay, so um, the actual type of object for this class list is actually called a DOM token list. So if I go inside here, as we can see, we've got all of these methods which we can use against the class list. So for example, we, uh, we looked at contains, um, add and remove, and of course also toggle. You've also got replace. So for example, if I go back inside here, we can also say uh, my div dot class list. Then I can say dot. Once again, all of those methods are available right inside there. I can say replace for example. So I can say dot replace, and then I can say replace computer with for example headphones. And of course, that right there is going to replace the class of computer with headphones on the actual class list of that um, of that HTML element. Okay, and that right there is the difference between jQuery and vanilla JavaScript when it comes to working with HTML classes. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.